The following is a sports presentation of the University of Nebraska's radio station. Your home of continuous coverage of the Nebraska Cornhuskers, 90.3 KRNU, Lincoln, Nebraska. I'm Zach Penrice for Husker Countdown. You've been hearing it all year. Scott Frost walks off the field on the short end in his debut at Nebraska. University knocking off Scott Frost and the Huskers a 24-19 final. And the Huskers' disappointing 2018 continues. I honestly believe this is going to be the bottom right here. We honestly look, in my opinion, we look like one of the most undisciplined teams in the country. Personal foul. And Wisconsin knocks off the Huskers 41-24. Nebraska now 0-5. I hate losing. What we're going through right now, I hate it. Our team hates it. Our coaching staff hates it. It's probably a necessary step, but it's no fun. The unthinkable has happened. Nebraska is off to their worst start in the 128-year history of the football program. The latest blemish may be the biggest disappointment yet. The Huskers squandered what was once a 14-point lead and even a 10-point advantage with under three minutes to go as Northwestern ended the game on a 20-3 run. The snap, Thorson, looking, right side, end zone, pass, caught, touchdown! J.J. Jefferson, we are a four and after away from a tie ball game with 12 seconds to go. Snap, hold, kick, up, on the way, right down the middle, Northwestern wins it in overtime. New game, same mistakes. The Huskers racked up 89 penalty yards, while Northwestern had five. The team turned the ball over three times and broke down defensively when it mattered most, bringing Scott Frost to the post-game podium at a loss for words. I'm kind of running out of words to tell them, other than just stick together. They deserve to win that game today. So many ways we could have won that game. I, I just feel bad for them. They deserve more, and they deserve better than this, and we'll keep scraping. Nebraska had its best chance to win a game all season on Saturday and let it slip away. The 0-6 team now comes home for two games, starting with the 3-3 Minnesota Golden Gophers. Defense plays really hard. They fly around to the ball, they run and hit. Very similar to the team we just played. It's funny, I, I didn't know much about this league, but on our half, there's not a ton of difference between the teams that we've seen in our half so far. They're all good teams. They're all games we can win if we play really well. and. Games, teams that will beat us if we don't play well. The season is halfway over, and I'm sure that if you asked any Husker fan where this team would be through six games, none would have predicted a winless team. But despite this harsh reality, Nebraska's native son head coach remains with the same goals today as he had his first day back in Lincoln. I got asked a hundred times, what's a, what's a good result this year? What's a good record? How many games do you want to win? And my answer then was the same as it is now. We got to get better day by day. We had a lot to fix, a lot to do, a lot to install. There's no doubt watching the last three weeks how much better we've gotten. We've been hearing about the team's improvement for weeks, but the results have remained the same. But there is no doubt that the team is getting closer. Sometimes it just takes one, and then everything begins to fall into place. Maybe that one is going to happen today. Let's find out. Husker Countdown starts right now. Bunch takes the snap, throws it out to Spielman. Spielman has some room. Touchdown! Diving for the end zone. J.D. Spielman on that beautiful screen as well designed play. Montez has it. Gets pressure, gets crushed. Khalil Davison on the sack for the Nebraska Cornhuskers. It's going to be caught by Stanley Morgan midfield down the right boundary. 35 30. Morgan to the 20, to the 15. Dancing down the sideline. He'll salsa his way in for six. Hand off over left guard. Osigbo plunges into the end zone. Husker lead. It's 9 to 7. 
pass is going to be caught for a touchdown by Nebraska by Jack Stoll, the tight end. Martinez gets the snap, Washington again, breaks the tackle across the five, and he's in for the touchdown. Maurice Washington with a four-yard skimmer, and Nebraska is up multiple possessions in the fourth quarter. It's 26 to 14. Hornibrook sets his feet, still looking, dances, out boundary, pass intercepted. It's by Aaron Williams. It's a pick six into Nebraska. Lancers return the favor against Wisconsin. It's a 12-yard INT return for points, and the Huskers are a point away from a tie game. Broadcasting live from Memorial Stadium in Lincoln, Nebraska, 90.3 KRNU proudly presents Husker Countdown. Got a name.